Hello everybody, I am CJU and this is the first part to a newly released horror game called Soma and I've been very much looking forward to playing this. Uh, top of the list of reasons why is probably because it's actually made by Frictional Games and if you don't know who Frictional Games are, they're the people behind Amnesia and Penumbra and I consider Penumbra Overture and Black Plague as well as Amnesia The Dark Descent to be absolute horror classics. So I guess you can say that um, <laughs> my expectations for this game are quite high. Pa perhaps wrongly so, honestly. But everyone who I've spoke to has, who have played the game in the uh, the week it's it's been out haven't actually had anything bad to say about it, really. So I expect this is going to be a, a really fantastic ride. I'm going in blind, obviously. Uh, I really do hope you enjoy it. If you do, let me know. And um, yeah, here we go. We're going for a new game. My face cam's going to fade away right now, but if there's anything that's face cam worthy, any highlights, I'll put it at the end of the video, okay? Reality is that which, when you stop believing in it, doesn't go away. By good old Philip K. Dick there. Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Your brain Here, take can't this. stop bleeding. What? No, that, that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Lynch? Why is there never enough time? For what? Oh. Ah. Well, that didn't end well at all. Okay. Christ. Oh, wow. Okay. Right? Okay, so that didn't take long. We're in the game already. Not exactly what I expected to be waking up in, but fine. Sure, let's let's see. There's the phone. Oh, yeah, nice. I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. Okay. So that wasn't just a bad dream, that was a bad memory. I was in like a car accident, I guess? That was weird. My brain was bleeding? That's pretty serious. Okay. So um, I've had a very quick look at the controls, actually. It seems pretty much identical to Penumbra and Amnesia, so it should be pretty much easy Where for me to pick up. Tracer fluid? Yes, I've got to find some tracer fluid, apparently. Okay. Can I interact with stuff? Right! Hey Simon, it's Jesse. You working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend? Or next? Anywho, just shoot me a mail or something. Love you, miss you mean it. <laughs> okay. I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? Okay, this is cool. Right, so yeah, the same thing, you can pick up random objects and have a little examination of them if you'd like. Just gonna put that one in there. So we're looking for some tracer fluid. Come on, radioactive tracer fluid, where are you? Uh, this is laptop. Can we have a look at the laptop? Uh, cool. Yeah, apparently so. Uh, two in my inbox, one in my drafts. Let's just go through this. Uh, Neurograph session from David Munchie, the guy I was just on the phone to. Uh, thank you again for participating in our research. The scan will be performed at the Pace Laboratories in Toronto. But since we are guests, our access is a bit unpredictable. I'll try to schedule a scan session for Saturday. I'll get back to you when confirmed. Okay, so this is set in Canada, is that right? Is this the present day or um, like futuristic? Because I think this is meant to be like sci-fi themed. Oh, hang on, we've got a date down here. It's present day. Okay, fair enough. Let's move on to a new prescription from Dr. Erin Peake. Dear Mr. Jarrett, I'm happy to hear your headaches have become less frequent. Your latest tests show your brain is slowly recovering, but it's still too early to tell how well it will adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months at least, and you'll need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent the blood from building up pressure. Wow, that is serious. Uh, since excessive stress could be fatal, I have written you a prescription for prozosin to help you with your nightmares. Okay, yeah. Uh, and please read the instructions and medicate accordingly. Right, fine. And what's in the draft? Something about Saturday off. Jesse. Oh, I oh. forgot to hit send. Oh. That was the guy, on, that was the message, wasn't it? He said he had a memory of a goldfish. Maybe it's because you didn't send the goddamn email. Yeah. He's, he's got a doctor's appointment, he's not coming into work. Can we just send it? <laughs> really? 
Okay, fine. There you go. Better late than never. Exactly, exactly. Right, anything else? Like a, like a Photoshop mail client? Can we... No, we can't use the UI or anything. That's that's fine, I suppose. I like the way they did that. You zoom into the screen and everything. Okay. Can I use these things too? Like a notepad here? Oh, wow. Okay, this is an interesting way of examining things. I like this. You get a 360 view of it. A little bit like I've, I've been recently playing um, Layers of Fear. It's a little bit like that. And this? A get well soon card from my mum, by the looks of it. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, what have we got in the drawer? Anything? Oh, what's this? A downtown accident kills a young woman. Okay. Toronto. Yesterday, a driver distracted by her children ran a red light, causing her to blindside a car in the intersection of Bloor Street and Spadina Road. The mother and her children, travelling in a robust SUV, were left bruised, but largely unharmed. The other party was less lucky. As the car crashed into the passenger side, Ashley Hall, 23, sustained devastating damages and suffocated from blood trapped in her lungs before the ambulance arrived. Her friend and driver, Simon Jarrett, me, survived but with complicated results believed to leave him with permanent brain damage. Right. Okay. Well, that explains a lot, I suppose. <laughs> you even get a little bit on the back. Okay. So that only happened uh, a little while ago, like a month ago. Right. Cool. What's this? Oh! Oh, we have it's light! Coming. Perfect. Hope it's a good one. I have to admit, I've never been to Toronto, I've never been to Canada at all. It is, is this what Toronto looks like? What the f- Oh, I think I just knocked the bin. Looks pretty nice. Okay. Yeah, I was expecting this to be a lot darker, honestly. It's meant, I, you know, from the uh, the screenshots and the teaser trailer I've seen, um, it, it, it looks very sort of like steampunky, alien isolation-like in a way. Uh, and this isn't it, but I guess we'll get to that. This is really cool. I just like the attention to detail in this. You can move the shower curtain. Can we use the shower? I want to keep the doctor. Ah. I'll shower when I get back. I can try and turn the handle. That's good enough for me. What about the sink or something? Oh, really? Oh, that's so cool. And the toilet. I've I've always got to check the toilet for some reason. I don't know. It's a weird fascination with me. <laughs> that's so cool. Really, I'm happy with that. I'm done. This game's ten out of ten. Right. Still haven't found this tracer fluid though, have I? Mapping Minds by Albert Isaacson. I could I could probably spend a good hour just searching through this room and just finding everything and looking at it, looking at it in really great detail. But um, we've got some tracer fluid to find. I don't I don't know. Let's see. I don't know what it looks like. Was it that like vial that um that container that I saw in the dream? There it is. Wait, there it is. Ah! There it, there it is. Right. Okay. Uh, press that when the item is displayed on screen. Okay, so I'm going to drink it, yeah? Gaditan755. Sure. Bottoms up. It feels like milk, but the taste is like sucking on a penny. Okay. Nothing so that's that. Food. I should buy something healthier on my way home. Maybe so, right. So I've drunk the tracer fluid. Um, there's a there's a brain scan to get to. Is this the? It looks like the front door. Okay, we're just we're just leaving. Fine. Nice little introduction. I'm very very surprised. Wow. Oh no. Of course I'm sitting next to the crazy the crazy homeless man. God damn, remember, remember like Overture and Black Plague? Remember when they had trouble animating people, even if it was a dead body? Okay, Jesse. Oh, this is, yeah, it's this guy again. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after the scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Maddie from SNL? Uh, I guess you didn't hear Saturday Night Live? He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah, well... Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying thing. <laughs> dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. Seems like a nice guy. Yeah, let's see if we can stop this dying thing. 
Oh, what's he talking about? I'm gonna get shanked, aren't I? No, I'm alright. Yeah, this is this is really, really surprising. Frictional games have come a long way. They really have. Okay, okay, this is the sort of level of darkness Hello? I was expecting from one of these games, Dr. honestly. Alright. Is that a light switch? It is! Oh, there we go, so it's Where not dark everyone? for too long. Thought this place would be busy. Right. Well, this isn't their usual place, is it? Apparently. Can we have a look outside the curtains? Oh, wow, yep, uh, we're in Canada. There's a, there's a pretty good sign. Very cool. Very cool. Looks futuristic to me, but present day, apparently. I don't know, maybe this is... Maybe I want to go to Toronto now. That's cool. Okay, so let's let's see. Bi biometrics. Is that where we're meant to go? Probably. It's a bit weird that no one's here though. Uh, let's see. Oh, hang on, hang on. This isn't right. This is the place, right? It must be. I don't have a code, do I? Oh, let's give him a call then. Let's just call Machi real quick. Great. Uh, Got his phone turned off. Typical. That's okay. I can figure this out. Okay, can I have a look at the imprints or something of his fingerprints? Uh, no, I don't know. Probably not. But I'm gonna need to find a code. Right, let's see if we can find a code then. Something around here, maybe? We have a laptop! We have a laptop, let's have a look. Yep, I can view it just like I can view mine. Paul Berg this time. Paul Berg, I don't know who that is. Uh, Paul, where are you? We've got a few hours. I got a hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in the reception. Are you already here? Call me ASAP. Okay. Get your stuff ready. Hi, Paul. Talk to Pace about using the lab this week. I've managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said we could use the empty reception area as a kind of office. I would allow us, it would allow us to use the computers to run models, and also, if a time slot opens up, we can get in there and use the scanner rig right away. I thought we could run some tests tomorrow. We could do a scan of each other to learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday, I'm hoping Dr. Erin Peake will send somebody over. She has a patient that was recently in the car crash. That must be me. Should be interesting. Okay, and, um, sent to David Munchie. Uh, okay. I don't think I could, I don't think my voice is going to really put up with all the things that I'm reading right now, so I might just have to read the important bits out to you. Uh, and you can pause it if you'd like, just to read it yourselves. But here we go, right at the bottom. I'm not allowed to repeat the code in mails or text. It's typical. But I'll leave a note or something in case we forget. Right. So we need to find a note. There's going to be a note. A note in notepad on the laptop? Or like a note, like a paper note? Paper note, I would think. Let's have a look. What have we got? Uh, mm, well, this is a notebook. Any codes in here? There's a couple of numbers. Oh, hang on, yeah, maybe. That one in the bottom right. 25, is it 2501? Maybe, 2501. Let's, let's try 2501. Let's see then. Two... Five, zero, one. Perfect! Right, okay. We're in. Okay. This is nice. Oh, don't tell me that. Well, actually, you know what? There's, I, I'm not expecting there to be a monster around the corner quite yet. Not this time. Okay, we can't go in there, apparently. Um, fire hose? No. First aid? No. You keep the first aid box locked? It's not good, is it? Let's see, then. What's in here? In room 362. Explosives or something? Nothing I want to play with, I guess. Are we in here? We got like a light switch around here somewhere? Yep. Right! Um, this doesn't look like I'm going to get my brain scanned. Or maybe, I don't know. There's like a power drill? Is that how they do it here? Maybe, <laughs> maybe I should go somewhere else, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's that's pretty big. I'm alright with needles, but Jesus Christ, that's intimidating. Uh, some sort of scan going on. It looks like a brain to me. Lots and lots of data going through there. But I don't think this is where we're meant to be. Uh, can we go through here? 364? Aha! Who's that? David? Or Paul, oh, maybe? Hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. All Great. of it. 
Well, we can start whenever you're ready. Downed it in one. Okay, can we talk to him again? So, what exactly are we doing? We're going to do a scan of your brain. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. <laughs> bombard it, okay. to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. So it's not just a study. This will actually help me. Well, I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope it's not a huge waste of time. Right, so, let's see. Um, again, just like the needle, that's a little bit intimidating. And I've played The Evil Within. Um, I don't think I have any goo with me right now. But here we go, I guess. Do what you gotta do, Doc. I don't want to die. Oh shit. <laughs> this is this is a terrible, terrible mistake I'm making. Alright, let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. The last time I looked. Out of Canada, the Munchie. Uh -huh. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph, version 6. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. That's so. Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Nervous laughter. Say cheese. Stilton. Okay. I assume that was meant to happen. Right? <laughs> Right? It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Oh shit. <laughs> this is this is a terrible, terrible mistake I'm making. <laughs> 